Jip, blow, whoa, you already know what it is. It's your man about to fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to the subscribers. That notification game. You know what I'm saying? What up? What up? You better respect my shit or catch bullet. Nah, that's enough. Um, shout out to the gang, man. I was about to give you 100, but I don't want it. Shout out to everybody out there that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. You know what I'm saying? It's a Tuesday. Don't skip leg day. Uh, I always do legs on Tuesday. I don't know why. But shout out to everybody that's out there in the gym trying to make themselves better and all that shit like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Self-improvement is the best improvement. Um, There's a lot of things going on. Hip-hop, battle rap, et cetera, et cetera. You have... Now, Averb, first first of all, shout out to Verb and everything that he's got going on. He's got a battle coming up with Swamp in a couple weeks down in Miami. Shout out to everybody in Miami and everybody that's going to be down there and things like that on Chrome 23. And he's been one of the craziest promoters ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga's level of promotion is, like, up there, up there. You know what I'm saying? Every day, space. Like, when you purchase... <laughs> when you get a battle with Verb, you... Purchase the promotion, the antics, the banter, the viral moments. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! Everything. You've heard that? That's like all inclusive. That's probably why he talks the shit that he does. And he's um, been able to continue to do this. Like, the battle with Swamp is either gonna go one of two ways. Either Verb is gonna win, he's gonna have a debatable, or he's gonna make it debatable. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just what he does. Because the thing that he does pretty efficiently is get through material. He understands the target and he will always have three rounds. He's gonna damn near always have them. So if he has three rounds, Swamp has three rounds, Verb has his fans, Swamp has his fans, they're gonna, it's gonna be a wash, you know what I'm saying? And then the two minute rounds thing, I see everybody talking about it. Um, and I've talked about it before and I'll talk about it again. I just seen the Yoshi battle yesterday. Come on fam, two minute rounds. Swamp, you better know what you're getting into <laughs> because uh, them niggas are gonna have you on the menu. If you don't know what you're getting into, then they gonna have you on the menu. Um, that then they ain't gonna let you rap no longer. Time, time, time. So uh, let's move on. Verb uh, was going back and forth with Lupe Fiasco last night. Shout out to everybody who was talking about it, the people who posted it. I seen clips in Battle Rap Trap, and I seen this clip that I'm about to post was on Double XL. Uh, Drake. Drake is a better rapper yeah. than Kendrick. Do you like? Okay, so is it, is it by a long shot? Not really. Drake. Drake got bars, which you know. Okay. You know that, so you know I ain't mm -hmm. capping when I say. For sure, right. so I, I would give it to to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer, mm -hmm. but I don't think he's a better performer. Yeah, that's a difference. So okay, so 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 you ain't never heard Kendrick and felt like he was one of the most like he was what like like you cut like he was one of the most dangerous rappers. No, no. So Kendrick puts no. You ain't never felt that. Yes, I have. I felt he was very dangerous. For sure. You, you felt like he was dangerous to you? I felt like Kendrick Lamar still to this day. He's very surgical with words. Absolutely. Dangerous, dangerous to No, no. Dangerous to you. Well, no, I don't think none of y'all dangerous to me. Like, you either. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So, that's my secret. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying as far as, like, what? Because well, hmm? if that was the case, you think he'd be dangerous to you, but he's not dangerous to you. I know he's not, he not dangerous to you. So, I know that. So, is he dangerous to you? Because I'm way more ahead of you, though. You way more ahead of me? And skill? Boy, you know, you ain't crazy. Skill sets? For sure. Okay. Who else believe that? I do. Who else believe that A-Verb is a better rapper than Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers. Why wouldn't we? Let's do the count. What you mean count? You want to take a poll on it or something? Take the poll. I, I, take Drake or Kendrick? Drake. Drake is a better rapper yeah. than Kendrick. Do you like... Okay, so is it, is it by a long shot? Not really. Drake Drake got bars, which you know. Okay. And you know that. So you know I ain't mm -hmm. capping when I say For sure. Right. I would give it to, to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer, mm. but I don't think he's a better performer. Yeah, that's a difference. So, okay, so, so so you ain't never heard Kendrick and felt like he was one of the most... Like he was what? Like, like, you cut like he was one of the most dangerous rappers? No. No, so Kendrick puts no... You ain't never felt that? Yes, I have. I felt he was very dangerous. For sure. No. You, you felt like he was dangerous to you? I felt like Kendrick Lamar still to this day. He's very surgical with words. Absolutely. Dangerous, dangerous to No, no. Dangerous to you. Well, no, I don't think none of y'all are dangerous to me. Like you. Either. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So that's my secret. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying as far as like. Because well, hmm? if that was the case, you think he'd be dangerous to you, but he's not dangerous to you. I know he's not. He's not dangerous to you. So, I know that. So is he dangerous to you? Because I got. I'm way more ahead of you, though. You way more ahead of me? And skill? Boy, you know, you ain't crazy. 
Skill sets? For sure. Okay. Who else believe that? I do. Who else believe that A-Verb is a better rapper than Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers. Why wouldn't we? Let's do the count. What you mean count? You want to take a poll on it or something? Take the poll. I, I, we'll take the poll. Drake or Kendrick? Drake. So I've seen it. So battle rap is reaching different levels. It's making it to double XL. I just posted that tweet with Fifty. To, I mean, with Fifty and Rick Ross the other day. Like hip hop is on fire right now with all of the Kendrick and Drake, Rick Ross, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You all got your picks in there, right? So Verb and Lupe Fiasco was in the spaces last night, and Verb has been doing pretty good in the spaces because he just had um, he just had uh, Lloyd Banks in the spaces. Now he's got Lupe Fiasco in the spaces, and they was having a pretty interesting conversation, you know what I'm saying? Um, Lupe Fiasco was basically saying that he doesn't view Drake as, I mean, he doesn't view Kendrick Lamar as, a, as, as being more dangerous than Drake, and he was saying that he feels like, you know, Kendrick Lamar doesn't threaten, like, like he's not threatening MC or whatever the case may be, and he's probably got his own reasoning. I feel like Kendrick Lamar, K-Dot, is a, is a wild MC, he can get crazy at any moment. That's just how I personally feel. But, you know, Lupe Fiasco does have the discography and he does have the accomplishments to talk about what he does as far as hip hop goes. You know what I'm saying? Food and Liquor, The Cool Lasers, Food and Liquor 2, and then all of the album, The Droge Wave and all the other shit that he did. And winning a Grammy and being on Kanye West. I got to touch the sky, come up in the spot looking extra fly. You know what I'm saying? I remember a lot of the records that he has. Now, when it comes to rap, Cause him and Verb was basically saying who's better, you know what I'm saying? Verb was saying, Verb was saying his shit about how he don't fear none of them, and et cetera, et cetera. And he was saying, like basically saying, I'll walk you down too. You know how Verb is. He ain't gonna never take no foot off the gas, right? So Lupe was like, you know, we could put a poll up, we could do this, we could do that. Here's my thought. As a rapper on beats and making music and albums and you know what I'm saying, being a global entity. Lupe Fiasco, he's won a Grammy, he's done this shit forever, he's been here since Food and Liquor, Food and Liquor came out in what, 2006, you know what I'm saying, like, somebody with a damn near 20 year catalog from Kick Push, I got you, daydreaming and all, these, and all the critical reception and certifications that he has, you know what I'm saying, you gotta respect it, in battle rap, no, you know what I'm saying, I know Lupe has toyed around with battle rap before and he said things about battle rap, but, it takes a lot more to be a battle rapper than just being a lyrical motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? King Los is a lyrical motherfucker. Is he the best battle rapper? Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? So I think that like it's it's a good light for battle rap to have people in the industry and have the industry talking about it and to have different ways and different perspectives for Verb to continue to get out there and promote himself. But promotion, the promotion is everything. He's going to continue to be out there. Verb is probably in a space right now. You know what I'm saying? His spaces go places. Now, Double XL is picking up on a Twitter space. So, you know, they do it a lot. They definitely have a lot of different conversations in there. And for this to be a topic at hand, I think it's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? And then that comes with the marketing and with people being to talk about battles and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a couple battles out I want y'all to see. Uh, there's a battle on Rare Breed Entertainment by Jay Breed versus Dollar Bill. So, you know what I'm saying, they both pretty new. Jay Breed was on um, a couple cards before, and Dollar Bill is, you know what I'm saying, he's pretty phenomenal too. I fucks with him, he's out of, um, he, was at, he was in Bags and Bodies, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't really see him in there because I don't even know if they released the whole fucking season. I ain't, bro, I'm not rolling or trolling. I don't know what happened with that show. I think I seen one episode, and I really don't know what happened with the rest. I'm gonna be honest with you. I seen a couple battles, but I only seen like one episode. So, if somebody could point me to him, Drop a link or some shit, let me know. I have no idea. But uh, Jay Bree versus Dollar Bill is a battle that I definitely want y'all to see. Uh, John John's card is coming up, politics as usual. It has sold out. Shout out to everybody with these events that's selling out. Um, you know, Black, Black Mafia Battle League just had their event this weekend and it sold out. So it's great to see people selling out these cards. Uh, you seen my reaction yesterday to the Calico battle. He has John John and Don coming up. You know what I'm saying? Now, coming off of a battle like that, going into a battle like John John the Don, I'll probably be edging it towards John John the Don. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? The performance that I, and then to have to do that next week, another performance after battling this week is kind of crazy. But, you know, Cal could, you know, put it together. But John John or bullpen is pretty tough. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be honest with you. So, we'll have to see how it goes. But, it's a lot of people that, like, yo, I don't know what's going on, son. 
with the battle rap shit. It was a lot of niggas is battling a lot. So Rock just battled Bill Collector. Then next weekend, he got to battle Loso and A War. I asked him, I was like, yo, how the fuck do you remember all of this shit? Like, how do you, how do you remember this shit? So, uh, we're gonna do, cause he just battled Bill Collector this week, you know what I'm saying? Last week that just passed. And that was a pretty good battle, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's 60 bars, three rounds, and then turning around and doing it again twice in three days next week. And now, if anybody could do it, anybody could, Tay Rock can't do it. But it's a very, very tough task to pull off. The Bill Collector battle is gonna go 2 1 either way. A lot of people's got Rock, a lot of people's got Bill. It's a it's a really good battle, though. That's the one thing I must say. So since it's so good, you know what I'm saying, it kind of washes. Now he moves on. <sighs> Battling A Ward and Loso in the same weekend. Uh, does he go one and one or does he go two and oh? That, that's another question. Join the comments and let me know. Does he go one and one versus both horsemen? Or does he go two and oh? Or does he go 0 and 2? 0 and 2 is a crazy scenario, Rock. You cannot, you cannot go 0 and 2 versus the Christians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Son, shout out to A-War. But they're gonna try to make you go 0 and 2. I just need you to know that. They will definitely be trying to send you home 0 and 2. You know what I'm saying? If the end, and you kinda gotta beat Loso, because if you lose to Loso, I mean it was <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it there to make you feel, you know what I'm saying? And where the hell is Murder Moot? What is going on with him? I ain't heard, yo, bro, ever since the shit came out with the with the dog and the house and all this other shit, so I ain't seen or heard from this nigga since, son. What is going on? Is anybody in Harlem right? Is anybody in Harlem right now? Go uptown to Harlem. Tell him that I sent you. Tell him it's August. I'm going to November. Where is this nigga at, son? I ain't heard from him since. So, you know, shout out to Murder Moot. I hope everything's going well with him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen or heard from the nigga since uh, the the unfortunate incident that happened. Uh, I know Rex was supposed to battle against Clean in Michigan. Uh, didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened. Like I said, I think niggas they put niggas' names on cards and shoot them a little bread and tell them the day before the battle it ain't happening because we don't ever get any explanation. And that happens with a lot of these leagues. It's not just one. How many different leagues do we see where? Battle just don't happen, nigga don't say nothing about it. They be knowing about it too. A lot of these leagues, they be knowing. They just don't say nothing. Cause they know that ultimately all the fans can do is complain and then that is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But I will say, you know what I'm saying, do your pay-per-view shit wisely, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be selective. You don't wanna cop this, don't cop this. You wanna cop that, don't cop that. But I'm not telling you to get everything. I will never sit up here and tell you to cop every single one cause you know what I'm saying? Some of these joints be high price, 50, 60, $55, $45. It's a tank of gas. Am I going to be paying a tank of gas to see niggas that I'm going to see battle again next week? That's the question that you got to ask. You know what I'm saying? Is it something that you want to do? Um, but shout out to all the cards. Uh, obviously, Chrome 23 has their event going on. The Trenches has their event going on in Miami. Shout out to everybody that's reaching out, man. I know, I know what you want. I know, I know, I know, I know. I shout out to everybody out there. And we appreciate you. Shout out to my boy Showtime SP. He will be right really soon. He's been working though. That nigga been working crazy, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he will definitely be by. I saw him earlier, you know what I mean? But he he was on his way to work. He was on the way to work, to way to work, on the way to work. So I couldn't really, uh, we could, we, and then there was really nothing much uh, going on. We will be uh, shooting television this week. Uh, I did tell you guys earlier, we have a really dope guest, so I'm preparing for that. I don't really get prepared for many guests, but uh, this one right here, I think that y'all gonna, y'all gonna really, really, really be in tune for it. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all will be, y'all be excited because uh, he hasn't spoken in a little second, and uh, it'll be dope. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But shout out to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religious and passing. Uh, it's a lot going on. Battle rap is about to start heating up. It's about to start being more events. It's about to be more shit going on and more stuff like that. But uh, I definitely want to tell y'all out there, man. I be seeing too many people on a daily basis that be afraid to post their music, afraid to share their businesses, afraid to promote themselves, afraid to really get out there and really, really, really get on the grind because your friends don't support you. But let me tell you something. <laughs> this shit right here, was not made for my friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to realize that you have to look global 
not local. If you're stuck thinking about what's my cousin or what's my nephew or what's my auntie or what's my sister boyfriend going to think about what I'm doing, you are in the wrong mind frame. You know what I'm saying? So I have to be telling people, sometimes I give people these type of jewels, like you have to get out of the mind frame of the niggas that you hang out with and the people that surround your circle and around your hood and in your phone. If they are in your phone already, they, they more than likely are not your target audience because you know them already. They know you already. They can't look, a lot of the times, niggas can't look past the person that they know to see what you become. So they still see you as whoever they knew you as is when you was growing up. The homie, Bobby, Mike, G. They just know you as whoever you are. They don't, a lot of them can't separate the two. So once you put yourself in a position as to where you're making moves, you're doing your thing, you're making plays, and then they see how the world reacts to you, then niggas will tighten up quick. You know what I'm saying? I be with my friends, some niggas from back home, we roll around, people want to take a picture with you, they want to, you know what I'm saying? They see it, now they notice it. Like, oh shit, I see what you got going on. So I just want to tell y'all out there, no matter what you got going on, push your shit. Everybody now might not fuck with it, some people might. You know what I'm saying? If 100 people see it, two people buy it, that's two people who didn't have it before. Gang, gang. But anyway, salute to every single one of y'all. got some appointments and shit I got to take care of. But uh, you already know what the fuck going on. Keep your money long, your game strong. <laughs>